Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematics Gains. This is a podcast where I talk about the yarns, the dyeing, the weaving, the sewing, all of the crafty things, um, depending on whatever my brain is focused on at that time. <laughs> I go off on tangents, forget what I'm talking about, I ramble, my dogs interrupt me. That's the spiel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome um, to the chaos. <laughs> if you've been here for a bit, welcome back. Um, not a lot today. Not a lot today. Uh, don't have a ton of acquisitions. Don't have a ton of knitting because my brain. Um, so yes, <laughs> my brain is just in a weird place. Um, it's in an especially weird place this weekend. Bless you. My dog sneezed. Um, <laughs> they don't understand bless you, but whatever. Um, my brain's in a weird space today, you guys. So forgive me. I'm going to start off with that. Um, I'm in the mood to destroy all things, burn it all down. <laughs> like there's too much stuff in my vicinity and I need it to go away. I need like clean open space. And right now I just have yarn explosions. <laughs> so I'm cleaning today and I'm trying to not de-stash because I've already done that a couple of times, but my brain wants me to pull more, but I don't need to. Right? Right. I don't, I'm, I need to stay out of this room. You know what I should de-stash? Fabric. Would you guys be interested in a fabric de-stash? Let me know. I have tons of, usually it's like one yard cuts, maybe two quarters. Get, I have a shit ton of fabric in my fabric closet. I have a fabric closet, okay? It just, I mean, it's not, well, it's not a ton of time. Like, they're all on a shelf and in baskets and bins. <laughs> it's because what I do is I go, I was like, oh, just let me walk through the fabric, see if anything catches my eye. And then I buy like one yard cuts of things and put it in the closet and never touch it again. I have fabric in there from when my mom was alive. Okay, like there's, there's too much stuff in the house. It's bothering me. Like to the point where I was like, I think I'll get rid of my couch and just get an armchair. Like things just, I need things to change. And you know what? I think half of it would be alleviated by my moving. Cause when I move, I pack up all the things and decide to start over. Cause that's what I do. And then I buy things fresh. <laughs> I have too much stuff. And all of it's cause I needed to fill the space of the house. So if I move to a one bedroom, which is all I really need, I'll get rid of half of the stuff that I have. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, hi. <laughs> oh, this coffee's so bad. McDonald's coffee, because, you know. Hi, you're in my lap. It's hot. It's warm in this room. I don't know why it's warm in this room. Maybe because I keep the door closed. Anyway, hi. Let's do things, yes? Okay, let's talk about yarn. That's what we're here for. Yarn in the things, right? Theodore, pick a spot, hon. All right, so, hello, pause. Hello, pause. You guys see the pause? You can't see it. Goober. Okay, let's <laughs> quit. Let's give away, or gift, let's, let's gift the Karen anniversary cake yarn from last episode, shall we? Here we go. Let's see, I got it pulled up. I got to solve the math question. Uh, let's see. Oh, that one doesn't have it. <laughs> it doesn't say prismatic. Let me pick another. Um, I said I wouldn't use this again, but I forgot to cut up paper, so. Sarah Farah 86. Um, what is it? S-E-R-A-P-H-E-R-A 86. Prismatic. You are the winner. Yay! So email your shipping info to me at cinematicscanesgmail.com and I will get that out to you. I guess I will have to ship it in a box because it's large and I don't want to squish it. Right? Right? I mean, you can squish yarn. 
whatever. <laughs> Send me your shipping info and I'll get that giant beast of a ball of yarn out to you. Okay, congratulations. Um, I had a gifting that I was going to do for this episode. Did I bring it in here? It did not. We'll just do it next episode then. Fine. Because I don't feel like figuring out where I put it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the regular things. Um, I have no finished objects, you guys. I could have finished my Andrew Mallory sweater, but I have not. See, it's bad, but I'm thirsty. <sighs> Should have brought my water in here. <laughs> okay, the Andrew Mallory sweater. This thing, you guys, I'm going to weigh this, okay? Like, next episode, it should be finished, right? I'm going to weigh it and tell you guys how many pounds it weighs because I swear it weighs pounds. And I know part of it is the fact that I used Aaron instead of DK, but that's the yarn that I wanted to use. So that's partially my fault. Um, this is freaking heavy. I feel like it's so heavy, it should be a coat. <laughs> So I'm kind of tempted to do an afterthought steak. I guess that's what it's called. Just slice it. But then I'm like, I don't want to ruin it because I've never steaked a thing in my life. And I'm afraid that I will ruin it. And then I, I will have wasted all of this yarn. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, if you cut it, then it's just multiple loose strands. You can't, like, put them all back together. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, you know, I'm never going to be be able to wear it unless it gets super, like, frozen cold. Like, was it two years ago when Texas froze and they kept cycling the power off like assholes? <laughs> yeah. Why is Texas on their own electric grid? It's the dumbest thing. You want to be independent. Everybody else in the country shares the electricity like it might be under a different name but it's on the same grid why are we on our own grid it's stupid I mean if it was a good grid cool but it's not anyway if it gets that cold then this sweater will come in handy but right now uh and you know how I said it was just giant it, it's it makes me feel chubby but like this is me so like all of this is positive ease and I just have to keep reminding myself of that. It's body issues, personal body issues. It's bothering me. My other sweater is also rather large, but that one's on purpose. Um, well, this was on purpose too. Anyway, <laughs> I just woke up, peace out. This should be finished. All I had to do was the sleeve. I've got like an inch to go and then the ribbing and then I gotta attach it. That's all I have left to do. Cause I mean, hold on. Not even like <laughs> this is, I just have to do the ribbing. <laughs> that's all that's left. Um, and I haven't done it cause I'm me and I decided to cast on a new sweater. So <laughs> this is almost finished. It should be finished next episode. I swear. I said that about the dragon sweater too, but we'll get to that too. <laughs> I cast on something new. I cast on Seclude by, I want to say it's Alicia Plummer. Let me double check. Ooh, my battery's about to die. All right, hold on. Let me, let me pull a thing up real quick. I swear I was prepared. Mm -mm. Does anybody else keep all your patterns in iBooks? I do. <clears throat> Alicia Plummer, yes. And is there a picture? It's the really good, honey. You're, what if you, what is on your face? Hold on, come come hither. Come here. What have you been digging? Yes. What is this? I guess the grass is dying, huh? Yes. Hi. That was all. I wanted to get that off your face. That's it. I'm done. You can go. Or lay on me. Whatever works for you. I'm here for your needs, sir. Can't put my coffee anywhere. Anyway, sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I warned you. Dog interruptions. My dogs are extremely spoiled. Um, 
it's this sweater and it's got holes in the thumbs so it, it reminds me of being in high school because you had the long band t-shirts and you would put holes in the thumbs so you could just be all super cozy so that's what i'm doing i don't know if i'm gonna do it in a contrasting color like this but i am gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna make the sweater. I don't know about the contrasting color. But anyway, if I do use a contrasting color, it will be this yarn. Okay, the yarn that I'm using is this yarn that I've been wanting to use for forever. And I was saving it because I wanted to make a comfy sweater. Originally, I was gonna make a cardigan out of it, but then I was like, how often do I wear a cardigan? So let me make a nice V-neck pullover. And I'm just waiting for the right pattern. And then I saw Seclude and was like, yes. Um, so <laughs> I think they discontinued this particular yarn line. But this is Madeline Tosh Work Sock Sport. I don't think they make Work Sock Sport anymore. Um, this is the Resistance colorway. Where are you going, Bob? Better? Comfy? Okay. <laughs> It's got blues and greens and blacks and like a hint of pink, which makes no damn sense, but whatever, it's in there. I'm gonna use it, right? Okay, so this, and originally I got this to go with it. This is also Work Sock Sport. This is the Arctic colorway. Look at that shade of blue. Mm. So originally I was gonna make a sweater with this and use this as my contrast. So I had like two skeins of this. But now here's what I'm thinking. So the Seclude sweater, it's just a V-neck with super long sleeves with thumb holes, right? I'm thinking, I just got to figure out how to do it, of adding a hoodie pocket to the front in the blue. Would that be silly? Would that look weird? Or, or adding a hoodie pocket and have the blue inside. So like a, like a fun flash of color on the inside, like hidden colors on the inside. Or afterthought pockets or forethought pockets, because I haven't gotten there yet. You okay? Breathe. Stop eating dirt. Mm-hmm. Better? You good? You're killing me, dude. You good? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Let's move on. Because <laughs> I'm just going to ramble. I started that. I've split for sleeves. <laughs> See, this is why that sweater's not done. Um, I'm happy with it. It's... I made it a little bit too big. I did swatch. I did. Um, <laughs> and then I just went ahead and used whatever needles I felt like using because of the fabric that I was getting. So <laughs> it's large, but that's okay because boobage. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I am currently doing some decreases because now it's like, you know, oversized for the boobage, right? And then I'm going to bring it in a little bit, you know, so it's going to be slightly fitted. That's, that's the plan. That, that's the plan. Um, I love this yarn. I am alternating skeins. Um, cause some of the skeins have more pink in it. I'm not a fan of the pink in this yarn to be true, but to be truthful, but it's there, whatever. I like the yarn. I'm just going to keep rolling with it, you know? So, I mean, would it look odd to put, I feel like I, I've got to put this blue in here somehow. Maybe I will do the contrast color thing. I don't know. <laughs> I just really like that blue. Maybe I'll use it for something else. I don't know. Anyway, I am stoked. This is going to be a super comfy sweater. Love it. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> am I, am I, my needle stoppers, the, these, these match a bag that I got from Lila Styles. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> which I'm gonna show. Okay, that's that. Mm -hmm. um, dragon sweater, dragon sweater, which was supposed to be finished uh, last episode. It's not. Um, I finished the color work though, yeah? All right. My dog has abandoned me. Okay, sir. All right, I finished the color work. I split for sleeves. Ta -da! And I tried it on and it fits. So the extra large in the pattern actually does fit me and I don't have to add increases. Yay! Um, so yeah, it fits. The... All done! I think these are supposed to be eggs. I was debating going back in and doing like a double stitch with like some metallic yarn that I have to make them like 
Game of Thrones eggs looking, but I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> That's too much. Isn't it cool? Now, the plan for this has always been to not make it long sleeved. I'm thinking it's just going to be a tee or I'm just going to do sleeves to here. I haven't decided. I'll see how I feel after I've finished the body and tried it on if I want to do short, like regular short sleeves or like here. Yes, yes. Okay, that's all of my knitting. I have not touched my blankets, any of them. <laughs> I was going to do a count. Next episode, I'm going to count all the things because I, I decided, well, I figured out that I think I have nine sweaters in various stages of completion. I want to say there's five blankets, three shawls, maybe we're going to do it next episode. We're just going to go through whips. That's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to go through whips because I won't have a lot of, I know I won't have any acquisitions to show. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> my memory y'all. I do have boxes coming for October because those are prepaid, but yes. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving right along. Leela Styles. and I told you guys last time I was confused about whether she was closing or not. She is. <laughs> she's just, she, she posted something the other day. She's just gonna keep putting stuff out there until she's done putting stuff out there and then it's gonna go away. Okay, and Fate's Thread closes at the end of the month. So if you want anything from Fate's Thread, now's the time to get it. But my new Leela Styles bag. It's got Brandon Lee on it. Yes, please. It can't rain all the time. I actually have a pen that says it can't rain all the time. Yes. Hey, I have not, I still haven't seen the new movie because you guys know I expect it to be terrible. I have heard how terrible it is and I really want to watch it to see how bad it really is because sometimes I like bad movies, sometimes I don't. Um, and it's on Prime now. But it's like the prime where it's like theater at home. So it's like 20 bucks. I'm going to wait until it's free. <laughs> then I'll watch it because I'm not giving that movie any money. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got a crow bag. I didn't even look at the inside. Let's see. Is it polka dots? Polka dots. A lot of the bags I have from her have polka dots on the inside. So see, my, my movie bag's got polka dots. Um, that's that. Okay. And then, okay, so that was Lou Styles bag. And, oh, and I got some fabric. <laughs> I just talked about fabric, didn't I? Ugh. <laughs> okay, but I am gonna make a bag out of this, okay? I am. Oh, and, and all right, so uh, DFW Fiber Fest is next weekend, you guys, and All With Love Texas, the Godzilla bag people, they're gonna be there. And they have that, um, the gas lease fabric that I bought, the knitting one that says needles, something, hex, whatever it says, they're, they're going to have those bags there. She made some more. I really want the purple one. So if anybody goes and they see the purple one, don't get that one. Get the other ones because she made like four of them. I want to say there, there's gray, green, and another gray with a beigey fabric background. Get those. Do not get the purple one. Leave it for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fiber Fest starts on Friday and I have to work, so I won't be able to go. But here's what I'm thinking I might do. I might ask my boss if I can work in the office because my office is in Irving and DFW Fiber Fest is at the Irving Convention Center. So if I go to work on Friday, I'm like, can I take a quick lunch break and scoot on over to Fiber Fest? Right? This is, this is the plan, y'all. Get my bag and then I'll come right back to work. Huh? That's, that's what I'm thinking right now. Cause I don't think I can take the day off. I don't think I have any more days off I can take that aren't already scheduled. So that's the plan. I might have to work in the office on Friday so I can go get the bag. <laughs> and that is all I want from Fiberfest. I may come home with more than that cause I'm me, but that is all I want is that bag. That's it. I am not coming home with five bags of stuff like I did last year. It's not happening. Speaking of which, I'm not going to Rhinebeck. <clears throat> not going. I've canceled my reservations. I got a refund for my Cake Palooza ticket and 
My Indie Untangled ticket, if anyone is interested in it, I cannot get a refund on that, but they said that I can transfer it to someone else. If there's anyone interested in my Indie Untangled ticket, it's one ticket because it's just me. And um, it's for the first time slot. And I believe you get a goodie bag because that's the one. Yeah, I believe that's the ticket I got because that's what I wanted. I wanted the one with the goodie bag and I got it. And of course, now I'm not going. So if you're interested, reach out to me, let me know and we'll work something out. I'm a little sad about the goodie bag, to be honest. I really wanted the goodie bag. And I love all the, like, most of the vendors that are going to be there. Um, Yarn Nouveau is going to be there. And I really want a sweater quantity of Yarn Nouveau. But I need to look at it. I mean, I love all their colors. They're, like, muted colors. And they're beautiful. Um, I'm sad. I really wanted to go. I did. But I hurt my shoulder. I mean, I told you guys my shoulder had been hurting me for a little bit. First it was my wrist, and then it was my wrist, and then it was my wrist, and now it's my shoulder, my body, and then it was my neck. Yeah, so wrist, 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 neck, shoulder. My entire, I'm just falling apart, y'all. Still can't feel this finger, <laughs> or the tip of this finger. Anyway, um, I have a shoulder impingement, so that basically means, how did he explain it? the bone in my whatever bone in my arm or shoulder I don't know <laughs> is rubbing against the tendon so it's bone against tendon and it's irritating the crap out of my tendons so my tendons are all super swollen in my shoulder um fortunately it's not bad enough to be a surgical issue although he did say I need to stop with the high pain tolerance and come see him when things start hurting because I let things go too far sometimes and if I let this go much longer, I would have needed surgery. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so now I have a bunch of exercises to do um, and anti-inflammatory meds to take. And I got a giant needle in the back of my shoulder um, a couple days ago. And it's feeling a little bit better. I need to stop sleeping on my side. I'm still trying real hard to do that. I just, I start off that way. And then I, I, I wake up on my side. I can't, my body knows where it likes to sleep. Um, I'm working on it. Anyway, <laughs> tangents, random rambling. I have fabric to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this coffee, hold on. It's so bad. Okay, let me show you the fabric. That was all the admin stuff, I think. I should have done it at the beginning, huh? This is from MX Domestic. Cause he, he has fun fabric. Um, or they have fun fabric. I'm not sure what his pronouns are or their pronouns are. I don't know. Um, anyway, MX Domestic. He, he, ah! Uh, they showed this fabric on a tutorial that they had for these pop-up bags. And I am tempted to, um, get some supplies and make some pop-up bags and put them in the shop just for funsies because I think it would be a fun just instant yarn bucket right so I can make bags and have like a little pop-up yarn bucket thing that comes with it or I could do it as a separate thing and I think it would be fun and I think people would like it as knitters just pop up yarn bag like for travels and stuff right would that be cool would that be something that I should try anyway <laughs> The fabric that he used for it I thought was super cool because rainbows and it's like a grungy rainbow so I had to buy it it's from free spirit fabrics this is I can't read the whole name is it Jim Holtz I don't know it's called eclectic elements color blocks look at that grungy rainbow tiles right aren't they fun kind of reminds me of Tetris a little bit oh you know what Chevis likes Tetris. I could cut this up into, into like, oh, I want to make a Tetris bag. I could cut this up in, in the like little Tetris shapes and do like a little quilting adventure. Oh, that's a great idea. I got to remember that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is how my brain works, y'all. Ta-da. I got both sizes. Aren't they pretty? These will definitely be bags. 
Oh, that Tetris idea is just, mm. Or I could just take regular solid fabric, cut Tetris shapes on that, and then overlay it over this. Oh, the ideas are flowing. I love it. Maybe my sewing bug is coming back. Make some damn bags. Anyway, sorry, it's my brain. You can't lay on that. What are you eating? What are you eating? Let me see. What are you eating? Dirt. Stop with the dirt. It's gross. Do you need vitamins? Do you need some vitamins and minerals? Hmm? Stop eating the dirt. Okay. God, you need a haircut. Um, the other fabric I got, which is definitely going to be a bag for myself. If I have any left, I'll make a bag for the shop. See, your beard's got mud in it. It's gross. Um, this is by Marsha Durst. And this is Cabinet of Curiosities, and I love it, and I think it would make a really pretty bag. Look at the little rainbow stitches. It just looks so fun. I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. And it's going to be a nice, cute tote bag for myself. Um, yes. So I got that. All right, honey. Can I, can I have this? Thank you. And then, let's see, what to show you next? Oh, I went to the Asian markets on Friday. Um, there's a whole section of Carrollton that's got 5 billion Asian markets in it. Love it. Um, mostly because I need to go to the grocery store. Before I moved out here, most of my groceries came from the Asian market because I love Asian markets. Even when I lived in Virginia, most of my produce came from the Asian market. Um, there isn't one anywhere near here where I'm at now. Um, so because I was in the city, I was like, let me go do the things. And I went and got all the produce and all the snackage and all the baked goods and a taro latte, which is like, mm, it's like a taro lavender latte. It's delicious. 85 degrees, y'all. Check it out if you have one. It's a Taiwanese bakery. Everything is wonderful. Um, except they got rid of the walnut tarts and I love those. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I also went to Daiso, which is like an Asian dollar store type place. They had yarn. Um, I was just browsing, but I bought yarn. <clears throat> this one is Daiso yarn. This is Daiso mixed cake. It is... No glasses. Oh, I still need to make an appointment with the eye doctor. Damn it. Brain. 80 grams. There it is. <laughs> 80 grams, 135 yards. I had to find the English. It's rainbows, like pastel rainbows. It's cute. I bought two. They were $3. <laughs> and then I got this one. This is Patissier. Patissier? Is it Patissier? Um, and the colorway Midnight. This is also Daiso brand? Yes. Um, this one is also 80 grams. I could, maybe they do 80 grams instead of 100. I don't know. Um... Anyway, this is 80 grams, 142 yards. And this is Midnight, which is really pretty blues and grays. I got two of these too. I mean, they were three bucks. It's just regular acrylic, but three bucks? Why not? They also had a lot of solid color acrylics and stuff and like wooden um, knitting needles. And they have a cute little crafty section at Daiso. Check it out. Um, so I got that. And... I got my row one, the dyer for this one, cause I already opened it and I don't know where the stitch marker things or stuff are, is Poppy and Spruce Fibers. This is gonna go in my entire sweater that I really need to work on soon. Maybe I'll do that today. And then I got my Passageways Club from Fossil Fibers. This is coming apart, Let me fix this real quick. And this is mohair. I love the colorway. I find mohair to be itchy, so I'm gonna have to blend this with something that's super soft so I can make it work, because I love the colors. Kinda wanna blend it with a gray. Oh, you know, this might look good with my Hanui fog. I don't know, we'll see. Got that. I think everything else is from Hobie. Yes. Then I got, if you've been here for a bit, you know, I love life and life, 
Life in the Long Grass magazine. I got issue number eight. I like that. I like that. The recipe in here this time, because they have recipes, um, isn't my vibe because what is it? Where is it? There it is. It's Irish bread and butter pudding. I will never make that because soggy breadstuffs is a no for me. Where's that shawl? There it is. Isn't that pretty? It's the Muir shawl. Kind of like Muir Woods in California. I think it's California. That's super cute. There's like five billion patterns in here. There's the Wander shawl. Which looks like that. That's pretty too. I like the texture. There's the Antrim sweater. That looks fun. Oh, and this, the high tide cardigan. That's pretty cool, right? A lot of cool patterns in here. Just Rachel Ilsley pattern here. I really like this sweater. I just don't know if I would ever wear it. That's super cute though. That's the Scylla jacket. There's a lot of cute patterns in here. Love it. Um, but yeah, Life on Long Grass magazine, issue number eight. Um, what's it called? Winter from the West and North. Issue number eight. I have a complete collection. I have all eight issues. <laughs> haven't made a single thing in any of them <laughs> yes uh let's see where are we are we at hobie now yes got some more cotton <clears throat> so last time i showed you guys i got these little cotton minis right i got the full pack so got some more rainbow cotton for towels and such oh for the one that i showed you guys last time i fixed my warp and then I finished weaving what I had left on the loom and it's about yay big. And it's gonna be a table runner cause it's about yay big. It wasn't enough to do like two towels at a normal length. So it's just gonna be a table runner. I just need to do the fabric bits around the edges. It's in the other room or I would show it to you. I'll show it to you next time. Um, showed you that last time. And then I got some more cotton. They had stripy cotton. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's probably gonna go on the loom, but whatever. I got color number 24, which is giving me spooky vibes because it's black, gray, and this really pretty minty green. Love it. And then they had a whole blue collection, <laughs> blue. Um, so it's got like navy and lots of shades of blue and white teal oh, colors sorry color three color 11 um one two three where's the third one color 13 sky blue and white and color 10 which is like gray blue and green I'm not a real big fan of these two because I'm not big on white colors, but I love these ones. And then my favorite is this one. This is color six, which is navy, gray, and teal. I really, really like this one. I wanted to buy it separate by itself because this one is a separate. It didn't come in a pack. The other ones came in a pack. Um, well, all the other ones came in a pack and then this one was separate but they didn't have this one by itself. So I had to get the pack in order to get this color. So what am I gonna do with these? No idea. Washcloths, I, I don't know. Whatever, they were blue. And then, and then I got some yarn that I was like, I am going to buy some yarn to weave with to make a little shawl wrap type thing, like a little rectangular wrap, right? And then I got it and I touched it and I stared at it and I kind of want to knit with it because <laughs> it's black. All right, so <laughs> look at this one. This is color number 15. It's like black and green and gold. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? Don't you love it? And then this one 
is like lavender and rose gold. This one's color number 16. Look, look, look. Right, right? So there's those, right? Okay, so you got those. And then <laughs> color number two, I feel like would be a good contrast because it's got all the same colors that are in the other two in it, except the black, right? Right, look, I want to put these together somehow. I don't know how, like right now I'm thinking I should buy some more of these so I can make like a long cardigan and then I could use this as some color work in the cardigan. Like that's what I'm thinking right now, but I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. And then I could still go ahead and put it on the loom and weave it, but I feel like this would be a sticky yarn to weave. Like I feel like it's because it's kind of, it's got a little bit of a halo to it. So I feel like it would stick to itself if I tried to weave with it. And I just, I want to knit a sweater with this because I'm in love with these colors and I can't decide how I want to put them together. <laughs> like I think the color work would be a good idea, but then do I just alternate the, I don't know. I love these or maybe I just buy a couple more of each of these and then do two separate sweaters. And I, <laughs> I love these so much. They're so cool. And you know, this one by itself isn't bad either. Like, look at it. It's so autumnal. I love it. I want to put them together. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I love these. I love these. This is Hobie Winter Glow. Did I say that? <sighs> winter glow winter glow it's just oh the blacks are so good they're so good and you know I actually like the green gold one more than I like the purpley one I just oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty maybe I should just buy a bunch of the green gold and put this with it no I want to put them together I want to put them together I need more it's not on sale anymore but then I'm like should I buy it just in case it goes away I don't know I need more <laughs> I, I should find a pattern and figure out what I'm doing first and then I can buy more right that's what I should do will I I don't know I need more I like it so much I should swatch it because <laughs> watch me swatch it and be like yeah I don't like it anymore <laughs> We'll see what happens. Anyway, I think that's everything. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. Okay, my friend Carla found the cutest pattern. She sent it to me. It's Gus Gus. You probably had to turn down the volume for that. I'm so sorry. I love Gus Gus. Like growing up, I wanted to be the wicked stepmother because she had a cat, but <laughs> I've always loved Gus Gus. I think I went off on this tangent a while back. I love Gus Gus. Okay. I have a bag. I have a face thread bag that has the, the Cinderella mice on it and it's got a Gus Gus pull. <laughs> and, and, and I found, um, was it Joanne? Or Michaels. I don't know. They had like Disney charms. I found a, a Gus Gus Disney charm. I'm gonna make a stitch marker out of him. But anyway, or progress keeper. This is Jack and Gus by Sarah Kellner. I'm gonna make Gus Gus. I probably won't make Jack to be honest, but I'm gonna make Gus Gus. And here's my thought. Here's my thought. I think I should make little outfits for Gus because we know I don't like yellow clothing wise, right? Okay, I feel like I could make like little jackets, little color work sweaters for Gus. Wouldn't that be so much fun? <sighs> I'm probably not going to do that. I don't know when I'm going to work on that, but I'm going to work on it. I already have the yarn for the body because it calls for Cascade 220. I have a perfect shade of Cascade 220 that I have not de-stashed yet. And I just need that. And I... <sighs> All the other stuff I feel like I can do with minis, like, you know, double up some DK mini or something for the rest of it, because it's just the ears, the hat, the sweater, and the feet. Yes. I'm sure I have colors <laughs> that'll work. Um, Because here's the one thing I don't like about this pattern is it just tells you you need one ball of each color. I'm pretty sure that hat does not require an entire ball of yarn, okay? <laughs> Give me some yardages. Is that a stuffy thing? Do they just say one ball because they don't want to tell you how much you need? I don't know. Anywho, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. 
I'm gonna go back to ripping apart my house. <laughs> I mean, I'm not ripping apart. I started cleaning out my closet and pulling stuff to donate, um, like my clothing closet, um, yesterday. So I'm almost done with that. And then, yeah, <laughs> I got to put away all the stuff that's in the hall from home goods. Uh, Cause I keep buying random stuff I don't need. Do you guys have any idea how many Halloween throw blankets I now possess? And mugs. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good two weeks. Uh, next episode will probably be DFW Fiberfest, right? But I am hopefully only coming out of there with one thing. One thing. <laughs> Talk to you later, guys. Have a good day. Bye.